Kole Lagoon and the Odor drain in Accra have proven to be a major headache for city authorities as millions of Ghana cities are spent on them as part of efforts to deal with the sanitation situation in the country. It appears not much progress has been made as plastics and silt displays run in water. Max Baba has more in today's edition of Joy News Agenda. It is morning at Circle. I am standing very close to the other drain. Some birds are walking on the silt in the drainage system. A man is also walking in there looking for a place to answer the call of nature. Weeds and plastics have taken over a chunk of the odor. Three years ago, the odor drain overflowed its banks. It is placed fuel at the nearby fuel station, which resulted in an explosion that killed about 100 people. Some experts attributed the problem to the choked odor drain at the time. Some environmentalists have attributed the problem to the heavy human activities around the drainage system, which passes through many communities in Accra. That is true as I'll later find out in another community, Aveno. In spite of the interventions put in place by city authorities to control the pollution, it looks like we are not making any progress. Inside the drain, it is clogged up with many plastics and then sealed. Happening right here behind me early morning here at Aveno is the ritual of burning rubbish right at the banks of the drainage system. I am now some meters away from the Kole Lagoon and the situation is not different. A dirty pool of water with different kinds of plastics. It appears the Kole Lagoon Ecological Restoration Project has not done much to improve the situation. Former mayor of Accra, Alfred Oko van der Poy, says the dredging of the Kole Lagoon stopped after the NDC lost power. He says government has to take a bold step and ban plastics. Fanny Mahama, under his administration, was making sure that the, the, the dredge masters were there. And periodically, they were dredging the Kole. There was the, 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 the dredges on the Kole Lagoon, and they were, you know, moving around, and they were dredging it. As soon as the 2016 elections were over and government changed hands, the dredging exercise stopped. Right now, look. <laughs> it's an ISO. You look at the Kole, it's an ISO. You look at the Chemo, it's an ISO. It's not helping our economy. It's not helping our country. We have to take the bold step and push it away. You know, if the time has come for us to change our dependence on plastics and find other means of using disposable items, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and burn the plastics. My president, Akufado, says that he will make Accra the cleanest city. The objective is excellent, but the question is, how are we going to make it possible? And I don't see the necessary steps that will make it possible. The former mayor says the Conti project is the solution to Ghana's sanitation woes. He's urging government to go back to the deal. The 660 million US dollar project, which was signed between the government of Ghana and the Conti group of companies in 2013, was to provide huge storm drains for Accra to deal with its flooding problem. So when uh, John Mahama administration was leaving, we had a package in place that was approved in parliament. And most of us call this the Conti project. Conti project would have answered all these things that I alluded to. It went to Parliament. It was approved in Parliament. Because we went on the IMF arrangement, so we could not assess that loan. I was very glad when the current Minister for uh, Works and Housing went to Parliament for betting. He said and confirmed that he has seen the plan, and he believed in the plan, and he's going to implement it. So I'm hoping that he will implement it. If he would make sure that that implementation takes place, then I can see how Accra will be the cleanest city. And Accra will have flying colors. But until then, 
it will be a dream that will never come true. The developments that have been made to clean up the Kole Lagoon are very important for the welfare of Accra. Like the harbor in Kufour's time, plans were made, sods were cut, but since then nothing has happened. We're going to begin again. With this commitment from President Ikufuado, it remains to be seen whether the Kolit Lagoon and the Odo Drain will be restored to its glorious states as they continue to be a blot on the country's sanitation script. Reporting for Joy News, Maxwell Ababa.